Okay guys, thanks for tuning into this video. In this video, it's a real simple step-by-step -step process and how-to guide on how to update your iCarsoft scan tool. Uh, we're looking at iCarsoft version 1.0 kit. So if it has a V1.0 kit at the bottom of the screen, then this video will be suitable. Now, first of all, the uh, we're going to demonstrate an iCarsoft VOLS version 1.0. That's the VW Audi C8 and Skoda diagnostic package. Um, but any other VOLS is uh, sorry, any any other 1.0 kit is going to be suitable. Now, you can pick up these genuine tools from Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm going to put this link in the description below this video. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to work our way to this page here, and I'm going to put this link in the description below as well. This will take us to the update tool and allow us to download the update tool for this particular 1.0 kit. Now, if you look across the top here, it gives you different update tools for different products and different tools. There are lots of different variations of iCarsoft products. So it's very important that you pick up the correct update tool for your vehicle. So in this case, we're looking for iCars of V1 and V2.0 kits. So this is what it covers. I'm just going to go through the version 1.0 kits. So it's a BMM, I'm not worried about that, MB, FD, BCC, VOS, POR, VOL, OP, LR, TYT, MHM, NS, CP, RT, FA, KR, and that's it for the version 1.0 uh, kits. So what we need to do is scroll to the bottom here and we need to select this one here, updating tool download. So I'm going to select that and you'll see it'll start to download and it may take, it should only take a few seconds, that's finished there. So we'll click on to that and it's, we're going to need to run this application. So run that. You might get a security message pop up. Just click on more info or just run it anyway, whichever option uh, it gives you. So we're going to click yes. It's going to install the software, which shouldn't take too long, to be honest. Install, there we go. It took seconds. And just click on to finish. So once you've installed that, just come out of this. And we can click on to this option here. Should have a new icon on your desktop states iCarsoft. I'm going to click yes and it's going to come present us with a screen here where it's asking us to uh, put the language in and the serial number. You don't necessarily need to actually type the serial number in because what I'm going to do here is if you look on the tool I've got the semi plugged in I'm going to plug it in fully the USB and you'll see the screen will come alive and we've now got serial numbers on, certain codes on there. And on the screen here, on the, where it says serial number, this has automatically detected the tool. So we're just going to simply click on to upgrade. I'm going to put the email address in. And then we need to copy the UID code from the screen. and just click OK. And then it takes us into the update screen. And basically the easiest thing to do here is um, select which, which, which functions you actually want. Um, in this case here, it's telling us that we've only got 78 megabytes free and we've selected 177 megabytes. So what you can do to free up a bit of space actually is sort of take off the languages that you didn't really want. Uh, so in this case we're just left with English but we're updating absolutely everything and we're just going to click on to download. In a lot of cases you will have um, more free space than you will have selected. It's just a case of getting the right balance of what you specifically need on that tool. But I'm just going to let this run now, it should take a few minutes and then we'll come back to it once it's installed. <laughs> And as we can see on screen here, we're getting a message to say upgrade completed. And it really is as simple as that. What you just need to do is click OK. And then you can X out of that. One thing to note is when you're coming to the screen, once you remove the, uh, well, sorry, no, if you click on to the back button on the diagnostic tool, you'll get a message to say database is upgrading. And then you should get another message to say system upgrading or system updating, something like that. Let's just follow it through 
right to the very end. System is upgrading and now it's taking us back into the home screen where we can select our vehicle and whatever service option we want. Uh, so as I say, that is the uh, the simple step-by-step -step process on how to update this iCarsoft version 1.0 kit. Uh, as I say, they're available at Diagnostic World, www.diagnostic-world.com and I'm going to put the links to all of these kits and the software update in the description below this video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.